Yeah, actually I studied two things while I was at Deakin. I did a graduate diploma in development studies and then I did the master's degree in international and community development studies. So actually before um, doing the degrees at Deakin, I'd been working with poor people on the ground in places like slums in Hong Kong with street kids in Australia. Um, and then I wanted to begin working more globally and so I used the degree at Deakin as a launching pad for that. So what I've done since then is basically I've participated in, in some way, in almost every disaster, conflict, war, epidemic that's broken out across the world for I think more than 25 years now. Why am I passionate about it? I think most people feel like they're passengers in the news. So most people sit there and they look at the news, they look at all these dreadful things that they see happening around the world. And you sit there and you feel kind of powerless. You feel like, what can I do about it? For me, it's entirely different. When we see things happening, when we see things unfolding, we can actually do something about it. There's something about living a life where you feel like you are concretely making a difference that keeps you passionate, and I see it. I think the temptation sometimes, people say things like, what's the root cause? Or, you know, how did this all start? And I learned at Deakin that there's no such thing as any of those things. As you study this kind of work, as you study the impact of development, as you study and you look at it through an economic lens or an international political lens, or you look at it through an anthropological lens, you realize these are all sort of reinforcing issues that are all coming to bear on a particular place and creating something. Some good things, some bad things and that to work on those things is about sort of untangling that, finding strengths and assets in that. It's sort of an art meets science approach. And for the 25 years or so since then, it's borne out to be true, that the world is really like that. There is no root cause for anything. But in fact, there are things that you can do to disentangle that if you can think about it in a, uh, and with others, think about it in a um, more comprehensive way.